Hello! This is a video that's not Minecraft. How weird is that? <laughs> I have no idea how to start a video unless I'm smacking a bell and saying top of morning. So, top, top of morning, I guess. As you have no doubt surmised, we are coming towards the end of the month and I haven't said anything about a charity live stream yet. We do one every single month, at least I try to. But this month, I will not be able to. I am so, so sorry that I'm not able to do one. I really, really wanted to, but this month just kind of got away from me way too quickly. At the end of the last one, uh, a lot of you could probably tell that I just wasn't in it. I wasn't focused. I wasn't in the zone. I wasn't able to like pay attention. I wasn't able to keep the energy up and keep it going because they take a lot out of you to do these every month. And that, that last one that we did, I just wasn't really happy with. So this month I was already feeling it that I, I just wasn't ready. It was about a week away and I was like, oh god, I don't have a pin design. I don't even have a charity picked. I don't have anything ready. And I, I came to the conclusion that I just can't do a stream this month. That does not mean that we're not doing a campaign. We're still doing a campaign. We're still pushing towards a charity and we're still going to try and raise money. But I just won't be able to sit down and do a stream where we drive to it and sit here all day and try and raise the 100k that we normally do. No real crazy reasons as to why we can. I just... I w I'm not prepared and I just don't have the energy for it. There was a lot of stuff going on this month in personal life things, just going back and forth to a lot of places and doing a lot of little tiny little events here and there that just kind of took a lot out of me and then like right now I'm sick. You probably can't hear it but my throat feels like I swallowed sandpaper. It's just burning all the time. So recording videos in general is proving quite difficult and I can manage it if it's like an hour at a time but having to sit down and do an entire stream is just too much and I'm also going to PAX like next week. I'm going to PAX and then I'm staying in LA for about a month. So I'm going to PAX next week and then spending LA all after that so I have to prepare for that as well. Um, so things are just kind of all over the place so that's the reason why I can't sit down and do an actual stream this month and Seriously, I am really, really sorry. Because I said I was going to try and do one every month. I really, really, really wanted to. Because uh, last year we did 8 out of 12. Um, and we were on track to do every single one of them this this year so far. But I, I just, I can't. It's, it's too much. But fear not, because we are still doing the pin and we are still doing a charity and we're still doing a Tiltify page. So this month's charity we are doing for the Best Friends Society? The Best Friends Animal Society, I should say. Uh, I've wanted to do an animal charity, an animal uh, well-being, an animal welfare charity. What's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it. An, an animal charity to try and help animals because it's something that I, I do care a lot about and a lot of people have wanted me to do one for a while. So we're doing one for the Best Friends Animal Society who are an organization that help keep animals off the streets. They help stop homelessness in animals like stray pets and they do this through a lot of different ways and they have a, they have a few mission statements as well which I'll read out here in a second but they do it by trying to stop the killing of animals in shelters because sometimes if an animal can't find a home in a shelter and this is why it's very important to bring in shelter pets into your homes instead of buying from breeders is because sometimes when pets get older or they're not wanted or they're just in shelters for a long time they have to be put down so the best best friends animal society are doing their best to try and stop that they have about 3700 acres and we lease another 17000 acres um, and about nearly 30,000 people visit each year to meet the animals and they say now there's about 1,600 animals trying to turn their lives around in this sanctuary. So that's, that's already a great start. So with our help and our fundraising, we can hopefully put a little bit of a dent in that and put it towards some nice animal welfare. We're not doing a huge crazy goal this time because I'm just not there to sit and try and drive to the donations all the time. But there is a Tiltify page up, it'll be down in the description. We're trying to raise $20,000 this time and it's going to be open for a while. So it's probably going to be open for the entire rest of August. So it's been open... The Tiltify page itself has only been open now, but the pin that we are doing this month as well, which I will put up on screen somewhere here, this is the pin we are doing this time because a lot of reasons why we're doing this as well is that recently there's been some some stories about creators and some stories about uh, influencers not treating their pets the best. There's been stuff on Twitch 
about people feeding their animals alcohol when they shouldn't and throwing animals. And then there was a viral clip that went around of a woman, like, putting down their dog and abusing their dog. So I, I wanted to try and... I don't know, try and try and put some positivity back into these stories and put some positivity back into the world towards animals. And also, I've just been playing so much Minecraft and that whole series so far, for me, has been about bringing in as many animals as I can and treating them nicely and fairly and trying to just have a good time with them. And it's been so super wholesome, so that's kind of the inspiration behind the pin. The pin design itself was made by Mirror Gem Pins. You can follow them on Twitter through that handle and various other social medias as well. They have done numerous pins in the past and I've seen a lot of them and they're really really cool. They've done some ego pins and they've sold them for charity and different things like that and it's it's been wonderful. Um so I they they made this pin design and I loved it a lot. So I asked them if we could use it for this. So thank you to them for letting us do it. I I love it. I think it's a great pin. So please go down into the description and click the links. I'll try and pin a comment as well if I remember to do so. Please let me know if I forget to do so because I sometimes forget things. Um and then you can click those and you can go straight to the donation pages and help out. And I will also, every month that we do one of these, I donate 10k of my own money towards it. So I want to keep doing that as well. So I will also be helping out with the donation goal. Um, but I'm going to need you guys' help to try and get to the rest of the way too. So please click those links and please donate as generously as you can. And again, the pin, as with every month, the pin is going towards the charity as well. So any merch that is sold on the jacksepticeye.com website will all be going towards that charity as well. Not just the pin, everything else as well, but the pin is something that we do every month, so that will that will be adding to our little collection for the year. And I know there's been a lot of talk recently about the Amazon rainforest too, and that's also something that I care deeply about because last month's charity stream that we did, we raised $100,000 for the environment, for the Environmental Defense Fund. So we this was before any of this stuff, ha stuff happened. Um, and I would have done another one for the rainforest as well, but the the animal, uh, what's the, animal welfare charity, I don't know, I, there's a word in my head that I'm trying to think of and I can't come to it. Um, I've been trying to do one of those for a while as well, so I, I will leave a link in the description for you to be able to donate to the rainforest too, if you're feeling even extra generous and you want to help out with that as well, so trying to raise some awareness for that too because it's a big deal right now and a lot of people are talking about it, so awareness is good and just trying to raise money and help out and just let people know how important the rainforest is is really uh, near and dear to my heart too so please click the links in the descriptions follow through um again i'm really sorry that i can't do a stream but next month hopefully in september i'll be doing another one and i i we have talks about what we're doing so far and if it goes through it'll be really really cool so i'm looking forward to that one and i'll make sure that i'll bring the energy for that but Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.